September of 2003, Wes Anderson began production on The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. The film stars Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Kate Blanchett, Willem Dafoe, Angelica Houston, Jeff Goldblum, Michael Gambon, Bud Court, Noah Taylor, Sue George, Robin Cohen, and Warris Alawalia. I was cast to play the role of Nico, intern number one. I had met Wes two years earlier while serving as his real-life unpaid intern for course credit at NYU Film School. Wes's filmmaking team included longtime collaborators Barry Mendel, his producer, cinematographer Bob Yeoman, assistant director Sam Hoffman, Dan Beers, his personal assistant, and Pavel Dovchak, who doubled as sound mixer while also playing the part of Team Zisu sound man Renzo Pietro. <laughs> also with us for much of the journey was master documentarian filmmaker Albert Mazels. For the film, I moved to Rome for five months, permed my hair three times, visited the emergency room once, learned how to drive a speedboat, and all in all, had the time of my life. Everyone on set was very excited to be a part of my behind-the-scenes documentary. I didn't say that you could film this. Did you get out of here that thing? Remember that time I was telling you about the snow? Go away. I'd be able to... Ah! I want to change in private, all right? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. You're so annoying. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm really sorry. And you got the camera on me now. Why don't you put it away now and turn it on when you're supposed to? Put it away. Go ahead. Put it away. Turn it <laughs> Matthew, get that off me. Um... Before I break it. I have not enough of that camera. It's been on me for the past two weeks. I love, you love the camera so much. Do you have anything to say to the, the camera? I don't. Nothing at all? Blur. I don't. Come, please. If only I had the blindfold. Here, George and Noah rehearse what would later become the anthem of Team Zisu, a song the cast sang as a group proudly and incessantly, both on and off set. Much of the movie was filmed on location at sea, so we would start our workday out by riding a speedboat into the middle of the ocean where we would board a long-range sub-hunter known as the Belafonte. The boat, which we were on from sunup to sundown, was crowded and often freezing cold. Just go stand in here and heat him up. <laughs> Just get in there and heat him up a little bit. It felt a lot like being at summer camp. Here we go. We played cards, learned karate, ate cornflakes, read magazines, and practiced Tai Chi. This is Paolo. He plays intern number five. He loves carrots. Here's Wes getting a massage from the on-set masseuse Bill Murray hired. She was later talked into playing Kate Blanchett's body double, which explains the funny wig. Here, producer Barry Mendel discusses plans with his assistant Molly Cooper while Willem Dafoe sleeps near their feet, a common activity aboard the Belafonte. With Bill on deck, we always had plenty of entertainment. I quickly realized that making movies is 90% waiting around, which gave us all the opportunity to test our skills of agility. No, don't tip. Wow. Yes. Woo! <laughs> He's fast, he's fast and he's got a reach. I'm slow. 
No, No, you should be quicker. You should be quicker because I'm right in front of you. Owen Wilson bought everyone a foosball table to help pass the time at the studio. I asked the real life ship captain about the authenticity of the film. Tell us about pirates. You said you've been attacked by pirates in real life, right? Oh yeah, twice. They come with boats just like they did here, you know, and, uh, and the reason, uh, one of the reasons is of course they, uh, they want to rob and steal. Yeah. Sometimes of course they, uh, people get hurt, killed. It was pretty realistic what you guys had here. Really? Pretty realistic. We were pretty well armed on that vessel there. We had shotguns and we had a couple of M16s. I later found out that the ship captain had made multiple requests to the production office for a shotgun to carry on board to ensure the safety of the cast and crew. One of the best things about being in the movie was the chance to see one of my favorite living filmmakers in action. Now, Phil, I think what that thing is, you walk by, you spot it, you, see, you ask, is this too cappuccino, and then you grab it. <laughs> Immediately go back to him like you're like you're withdrawing into a like like as if there's a veil. Once you see him, you can't be laid back anymore. You've got to feel the tension increasing. And now we dim the lights. You're waiting for the shark. Anticipation. Everyone could be kind of looking around, seeing where is this thing? Check scanning the horizon. Okay, and then it's spotted out the front. And it comes up, closer and closer, and it goes by overhead. Good, cut. Okay, excellent. All right, let's check the gate. I, I was hearing about it for a long time in the script stage and everything, and it's so fun to see the, the real objects, real buildings, and great boats, and great sets, and a really slightly, a little bit better than imagined, always a little bit better, which is, is how West likes to do things. One of my favorite new friends from the movie was Noah Taylor. You've seen him in such films as Shine, Flirting, Almost Famous, and Vanilla Sky. Knowing that I scare easily, he delighted in playing tricks on me. For Halloween, he had the production office deliver this unmarked videotape to my apartment. If you listen carefully, you can hear him saying, Matthew must die. scary. Another one of my favorite actors was Sir Michael Gambon, who always helped keep the mood light on set with his remarkable dance moves. You've seen him in such films as Sleepy Hollow, Harry Potter, and Gosford Park. Hey, Matthew. Here are the two of them are guarding Kate Blanchett's trailer from Riff Raff. Just, uh, <laughs> On their last day, Bill invited all the Italian interns over to his trailer for a farewell toast. What would you like? Would you like whiskey? Nah, man. It's 6 p.m. So, did you guys have any fun? Bill, do you have another shot to do tonight? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be drunk for it, though. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, good. All right, boys. All right. And girl. The toast. Uh, thank you very much. Molto, gra molto grazie mille. Grazie mille per tutti il lavoro. E tutte le emozioni positive. And uh, you were a ragazzi, was a, a, um, a grand, grand accent for the film. And uh, you are loved to all the amor of tutte le compagni. Grande. Cheers. Bravo. 
Jason's in it, so he's in it. I don't want to hurt anybody. But how about one last round of uh, jumping jacks? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. And you know what's nice is the one where you go down is the one that's in the film. Do you know that? Earlier in the film, I had to be rushed to the emergency room after injuring myself while attempting to do jumping jacks. It was horribly embarrassing, and no one ever let me live it down. It's true. It's the one that's in the film. Yeah. Thank you. Take a couple. Okay, come on. Let's keep it, right? Okay, come by and visit. We're going to be here for another few weeks. Come by and visit. Okay. It's my last week. Do you look sad? You'll be sad when it's over. So sad. Man. Cry my contacts out. <laughs> Most enjoyable part of life is wedding. It's, it's just everything. I hope that Wes, I hope it's a big hit. I like Wes because I want him to give me another job. And I, uh, I'm just creeping. Hello, Wes. If you're watching this, move his videotape on a cheap fucking like a camera. Will you give me another job? What do you want? Nothing from you. One of my fondest memories of the movie was the week we were all locked in the mini submarine. We were crammed together like sardines, but everyone remained in great spirits. At one point a light exploded inside and we all thought we were going to be burned alive. So we should have a a strategy. Out the back. We got out. I think Bill would well, stand up and then <laughs> lift it up. Hit it with no. me. Luckily, we weren't. Pavel ended up not only acting in the scene, but simultaneously miking it as well. Okay, uh, Olivier, this should work. Do you think you're a better actor than you are, son? No. I'm Gary Gardner. That's my wife, Sue. So, my case. I'm just, we're just doing a scene in a mini submarine. I'm Willem Dafoe, withdrawing attention away from other people. He's upstaging. That's the old crude way of putting it. Willem Dafoe is upstaging a whole fucking scene going on. Now, no one seems to be worried about it except for me. <laughs> Matthew, ah, stick with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, are we gonna all walk in as a group? Being as this was my first experience with a real movie, I was a little bit scared and had no idea what to expect. But I was in no way disappointed by the friendliness exuded by everyone on set. After five months together, trapped at sea, crowded in mini submarines, stuck in strange Neapolitan hotels, and getting seasick together on the Mediterranean, everyone in the cast and crew felt just like family. Jesus!